So, one of the things I realized about this machine is it's really interesting design for the super high shank. We've got a problem with the, um, that there don't seem to be any free motion walking foot that goes with it. There is a foot which goes with the, um, monogrammer but it's not a hopping foot. So I've tried a few types on here and I found this particular style I think, um, from an Elna fits. However, what you can see is because of this design of the needle clamp, there's no shaft in the side. So that's a bit of a problem. However, looking here now, I can see there should by rights be a screw there. I can see some threads in the side which I hadn't noticed before. I thought I was going to have to invent some weird contraption, but actually because there is a screw thread there, I'm wondering if what size screw thread might serve. might have to remove the, uh, yeah, I'll remove this just to make it easier. So what I've got here is one of the super high shank to low shank adapters. And let's see what size screw this is. If this is, I'm just guessing that this might be the right size, being a typical sewing machine type. Oh, it's going in. Cool. Okay, I think we have success here. So all being well, this might me allow me to use a hopping foot. So let's try again. success. Cool. So, we now have the ability to use a hopping foot on a super high shank Kenmore. So that was simpler than I thought. Just put the uh, thread down below. Pull it out. miles of excess thread going on here. Give it trimmings. <coughs> Ooh, you sneezing, Tiago. Dog sneezing in the background. Okay, so let's get a hoop and see how this works. Okay, here we have a little simple hoop and some cotton. Oops, let's do it on this red cotton to show up more since it's black thread. Um, I really need to raise this up higher so that the hoop doesn't get stuck on the edges of the sewing table, but that's okay. So let's see. Ooh! Did you get 
freezing a cold there, Tiago. Are you getting a cold? Not known you to sneeze before. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Working well. Let's put a little zigzag on. Uh, length widen this. Just release the screw the tidgy bit so it's not catching so much. It's a longer um, screw would definitely be better. It's not catching so much. Actually, this is working very, very well. I don't think it'll do full width, but you would never really do a super wide width. In fact, it's probably a bit, a bit too wide. Nice. Very smooth. Oop. It's gone all blurry. What's going on there? Oops. I actually noticed the low battery warning that time. Come on, focus machine. It's weird how it does that. Yes, I'm very happy with that. That's working extremely well. Great. Whoops. Oops. Woo. It's all in. I have to tighten it up for straight stitch. It's going on the wrong side. You have to watch, this is just so precisely close that it, it can sometimes hop down from it. It's okay when you say. You might put a bit of a... Uh, I've used my um, shrink wraps, wire shrink wraps so that you don't get click noises like that because it gets kind of irritating when you get that noise. Could put a washer in there or something. Yeah, so if you loosen that screw then it, it pops off so it's definitely worth putting shrink wrap on there just to stop the noise and lengthen the, the rod of it. Definitely works. I'll definitely put some shrink wrap because you can't stand clicky noises like that. Just wears your brain out. But I 
can get the control I need, which is fantastic. Perfect. So I thought I would just show you that when you put the shrink wrap on, I've left it probably a bit long, but that can be trimmed off. I just wanted to show you the sound difference. <clears throat> much quieter. as well. So it works fine.